Hi everyone, so I wanted to show you this. This is something else that I use when I want to meditate or relax. And this is a recent gift that I received from my husband because it's my birthday soon. So I'll show you what it is. So obviously you know I play the um, singing bowl, the Tibetan singing bowl. Well, I've got some other little instruments and things to play now, uh, thanks to my hubby. So thank you, sweetie. Um, and this is a kalimba. This is a Martin Smith kalimba, comes in a hard case. <laughs> and it comes with a card and just like a little information user guide thing. And just telling you what's in the pack and a few, like where the notes are and stuff. And it shows you how to make different sound effects depending on where your fingers are on the holes at the back to make like wire sounds and how to tune. So it gives you a bit of information. It's really thick, but once you get past that section, it's all in multiple languages because it's uh, sold over the world. So that's the part in uh, English that I've read through. And in the pack, you get the kalimba, which sounds gorgeous. You get a couple of these little Thumb protectors. Um, these are a bit tight on my thumbs, um, but they help protect your fingers when you first start playing it because um, it will hurt your fingertips if you play it a lot at first. Kind of like when you learn to play the guitar and your fingers hurt for a bit and then after a bit you build up calluses. And I recently trimmed my um, thumbnails and trimmed them a bit too short, so I find it <laughs> particularly uncomfortable. but they just make it easier so you can um, manipulate the kalimba. Comes with some stickers with letters and numbers on, depending on what you prefer to use. If you can read music, you can do the letters. Um, if not, you can learn songs by numbers. I haven't stuck them on because it has actually got it already into each um, little tongue. It's already got like the letter and the number. And I'll, I go by the letters because I've learned instruments in the past. I'm not brilliant at sight reading. Like, I can tell you what the note is, but I can't read music and just tell you, oh, this is how the tune goes and go do 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 do. Um, the way I do it is um, I can see what the notes are and then I listen to a recording of the song and then I can work out how to play it from there. Um, there's these little green stickers which you can place in certain places just to give you a reminder of where notes are and stuff, but I didn't want to do that. But that's there if you need something just as like a little quick visual rep reference. And then it comes with a little tuning hammer. And what you do is if your tongue is ever so slightly out of tune, you just bash it with the hammer very gently to slide it backwards and forwards, depending on how you need to tune it. Um, so that's quite useful for if they start to move when they loosen up, as I've used it more. And I quite like this hard case. And it's really padded at the back certainly um, so yeah so sometimes what I'll do is if I don't feel like um, getting the Tibetan singing drum out and um, singing bowl out I can use my kalimba and it sounds like this I find these two are the hardest. I'm just trying to see how that wall works with the thing at the back. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I've got to practice this because obviously I've not had it long. Um, but um, I can play like some tunes on it and stuff. The only problem I've got is obviously I'm limited on what I can show you on YouTube without getting demonetized. So I can just show you scales really and listen to what it sounds like.
Um, and obviously these help protect your fingers. Um, I find them ever so slightly uncomfortable because they're a bit tight. Um, and you hold it like this at the back and you can cut, you can have these holes half covered apparently to create like a sort of wire sound, but I can't get it to work yet. Um, and then you've got your thumbs at the front which play the actual kalimba itself. But sometimes what I'll do is when I'm meditating and stuff, I won't worry about playing a particular song. I'll just play particular like notes. That sort of thing. So I'll just have a little mess around on it. And then when obviously I'm work, um, you know, practicing learning how to play it, I'll play little tunes that I know and things. Um, because it's got the C scale, I can play a few tunes that I can play on the other instruments that I play. So I quite like the uh, I quite like that. I like the fact it's uh, solid wood. Um, and it's very well made, very nice and strong. Like I can't move these tongs at all unless I use the hammer to slide them backwards and forwards um, so yeah I'm very pleased with it um, I've no idea what it cost because I didn't buy it um, but I know my husband got it off Amazon so if you look for on Amazon for Martin Smith Kalimba you'll find it and I just like the sound of it And like I'll sit there for like half an hour or an hour if I've had like a busy day and I'll just sit there and like just relax and meditate and just just randomly play notes. Or I'll practice ones I already know. Um, I'll play like a tiny bit. There you go. I don't play anymore because I don't know if um, YouTube will recognise that. That's a tune from an advert from when I was a kid. Um, and we played it in an assembly when I was in like primary school. That's that where that tune comes from. Um, so, yeah. So, if you're looking for ways to meditate and you're... Like, some people don't like listening to sort of meditation tapes. Um, so... Something like this might be useful for you. Um, you can get cheaper ones of these as well. You don't have to buy an expensive one or anything you can get some of these for like i think they're like the lower end ones are about 25 quid which will be fine if you just want to meditate with it you don't even really want to spend more on one of these if you sort of want to make you know recorded music with it um but for just having a little bit of a mess around and a relax and a meditate something like this is fine um so yeah that's one way that i meditate when i want to relax is i'll just I'll just play a kalimba. I thought I would show you this. Um, I want to do like a few different ways of meditating because at the moment meditating is uh, really important to me because of um, current mental health issues. I do find that I need to purposely set that time out each day to meditate and relax so I don't get overwhelmed and so my anxiety doesn't go screaming through the roof of my head. Um, so... This is one way I do it. And what I do is um, I'll have the room dark, but I'll put like candles on and stuff so there's a nice glow, put on some incense and then just sit on my comfy chair with my kalimba and play a tune. Um, so that's one way you can relax if you are struggling to relax and if, you, if you're not a fan of traditional meditation this could be another way you could meditate um my favorite way of meditating is to um put on a video on youtube which is just forest sounds like rainfall in a forest 
I can't remember the exact one. I'll put the link to it in the description. And I absolutely adore that one. It's like, is it 10 hours of forest sounds or something like that? I think it's like, it's many hours of just forest sounds. And I find that I can lie and listen to that with my eyes closed. And I'll start visualising what the forest looks like and walking through the forest. And it really, really relaxes me. And that's my absolute favourite way of meditating to get my brain to unwind, um, which I have a hard time doing sometimes. Um, so, yeah, hope you found this video useful. Blessed be. And uh, bye for now.